I just want to ask you what your memories of that game are and, and how it ranks for you among the stadiums you've been to just in terms of the experience of playing there. Oh, that's actually a really, really great question because I get that question many times, like, oh, where was, like, one of your favorite stadiums to play? And I always rank uh, Lambeau uh, Field as one of my top three. I mean, just the atmosphere there is unbelievable. Just the way that the stadium's built, uh, just the way that the fans are, like, right on top of you. Like, it's a football atmosphere. This is what it's all about is, is going to Lambeau Field and – and playing a game of football. I mean, it is just what football is all about. Uh, so I definitely rank Lambeau Field up there. Um, and, and, you know, probably would say top three places to play. It could possibly number one, number two, uh, just right up there. And it, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, and what better way, you know, to be playing a game of football uh, for, the, for a championship to go to the Super Bowl at Lambeau Field. So this is going to be a great experience. Um, experience and uh, it's going to be – a lot of fun, but it ranks up there. It's a, it's an unbelievable place. I'll go to Karen Garijan. Hi, Rob. Oh, Karen. Hello. Hey, how are you? You're where are you? Boston? This I is can't. crazy. You're zooming in the our, our press conferences. This is nuts. <laughs> well, it's our only way to have contact with you, so we'll take it. All right. Hello. Uh, I'm wondering, um, is this one of the most talented offensive groups uh, you've played with in your career? Oh yeah, I would say I would say it definitely ranks up there if it's not number one. I mean, I've been I've been around a lot of you know a lot of great talented players, but I would say overall as a group, uh, you know, just from position to position and how many guys we have at each position, I, I would say. That, you know, this definitely ranks up there if it's not number one um, as for talent wise as a whole. Uh, I, yeah, definitely. OK, we'll go to Rick Stroud. Rob, you played in so many games and, and, and big games and won Super Bowls. But I'm wondering for, for yourself coming out of retirement, um, joining Tom, I know you have the highest of expectations, but to have accomplished this and be 60 minutes from a Super Bowl, I mean, is this succeed or is this at least match your greatest hopes that, that this year would be? Uh, I, you know, uh, it has matched um, a lot of, a lot of hopes, you know, that I had coming here uh, big time. I mean, uh, you know, it's just so hard to win football games uh, in the NFL, uh, you know, just week, week in and week out. It's just, it's just hard to win games. And just, you know, you know, the main goal, obviously, is always to make it to the Super Bowl. But it's 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 hard. It's it's one of the hardest things to do out there in, in, in the sports world. And uh, you got to put work in week in and week out. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, my expectations just coming in were just to work, work hard week in, week out and just, you know, give the best I could every single week. Uh, no matter what I had, uh, just just give it my all. Uh, if it was good, if it wasn't good, it was still my all. Uh, but, you know, and expectations, you know, it's just is really that's all is, is to give it your all. And obviously you want to win games and the main goal is, you know, to win it all. But uh, to, to just be where we are now is just unbelievable. I mean, it's exceptional. Uh, you know, I feel like it's well deserved overall um, as, as an organization. I mean, everyone's been working hard. Everyone's been putting their time in. Uh, but just overall, it's been a great experience. And, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not surprised that we're this far, but at the same time, I know how hard it is to get this far and how much work it's put in. We'll go over to Jenna Lane. Hey, Rob. Um, in, in talking to a lot, of, a lot of players that have played in championship games, maybe it's different for you because you've gone on to the Super Bowl so many times, but a lot of times these guys – they, they tend to remember the, the championship games almost more than the Super Bowls just because of, of what it took to get there. So I, I'm just wondering for you, um, of all the league championship games that you've played in, is there a memory or a moment that really sticks out for you? Yeah, there, there are, you know, sometimes some games can pop out more than others uh, throughout playoffs and stuff. Uh, but I would say, you know, you know, besides the Super Bowl game is, is – um, is going to, uh, you know, the Chiefs two years ago and winning that that game, the AFC Championship to go to the Super Bowl. I mean, 
that game is very memorable, uh, big time. And, and like you said, all the games are super tough and some can be more memorable than others, uh, no matter what, you know, if it's divisional round, if it's for the championship. Um, but uh, it, it definitely can, you know, sometimes have big meanings uh, just, just for one game uh, only. All right, we'll go over to James Palmer. Rob, you're part of this with the offensive line of, of, of blocking and protecting Tom and keeping him clean, and you guys have done a pretty good job of that over the last several games. <laughs> what, your experience playing with Tom when he can be clean in the postseason, obviously uh, give your opinion on that when you know you can protect him and what type of player he is when that can happen in the postseason. You know, when you protect him and, you know, you give him the time, I mean, I, I, I think it gives him the ability to uh, – you know, make the best decision uh, for, for, the, for the team, basically. Uh, I feel like when he has time back there, he'll hold on to the ball uh, for sure when he has time. Uh, but he'll never, you know, when he's sitting back there, he's relaxed and he knows he's not getting pressured. I feel like it gives him the best opportunity to make the best decision on where, to, where the ball should go, um, on who should get the ball, on, on where the pass should be, on, on what, you know, coverage to read and all that. So, it's huge, you know, to keep them clean. It's huge to give them time. And uh, just overall, when, whenever I feel like just any team that gives their quarterback time, it just gives them the best chance to win. So we got to stay on that. We got to stay on top of our game uh, in, in that aspect. And we got to keep giving him time so he can, you know, get that ball out. We'll go over to Joey Knight. Rob, you told Willie McGinnis, I think it was on NFL Network recently, that you desire to play here again in 2021. Um, we'd just like to hear from you. Do you desire to come back next season? Oh, yes, definitely. I mean, I don't see why not. I mean, obviously, there's logistical things. Uh, but, I mean, I mean, and I'm just on a one-year deal. And, and, I mean, my main focus, obviously, is, uh, you know, the season, uh, going to Green Bay. But, uh, if I had that question now, I, I just don't see, like, why, why I wouldn't be coming back for the 2021 season. We'll go to Sarah Walsh. Hey, Rob, you talked about um, the goal is obviously always to get to the Super Bowl, but never in all your years was that goal literally visible there from your practice field. Um, can you just talk about how surreal it is to be in this town with the ultimate goal being the Super Bowl and you drive around now, the banners are up, the signage is on the stadium, what it's like seeing that? I know you're focused on Green Bay, but that's sort of got to be a surreal thing. Yes, it is uh, big time. Just to see how excited, you know, the city of Tampa Bay is. Uh, it definitely hits you and uh, hits you in a great way, uh, you know, gets your emotions going. And uh, it's just cool to, uh, you know, come in and just be a small part of it to do my part and, and just, you know, bring an organization together and on top of it, bring the city of Tampa together by just going out there and, and helping the team win games. So, uh, and it's just getting super real now with, you know, Super Bowl banners all going up in the air and everything. And it's just, it's a lot on the table, and uh, it's just, you know, just more motivation to keep on working hard when, when we get in the building. We have time for a few more. We'll go to Tom Krasnicki. Hey, Rob, you and Tom just barely missed on a couple of big pass plays down the field. What did Tom have to say about that? And you guys working in practice this week to try and get that corrected for this week? Yeah, he told me I was running too slow, so that's why the ball was overthrown, and I – I told him that, you know, he's just, he's just got to stop working out because his arms are just too strong and, and he can't read my speed. Uh, so that, that's what was the conversation was. And, uh, and, but if we're being for real, like those, those are plays that, you know, that him and I got to connect on. We got to connect on those plays. We got to connect from here on out. There's no like, oh, next game we'll, we'll connect. Oh, we got, you know, oh, the next game we got next practice. No, it, it's go time now. It, it's you win or you, you lose. You win or you go home if you lose. So, uh, like like those plays that we missed on, I mean, um, obviously it would have helped out the team tremendously if if we hit them. And uh, you never know down the road uh, that it could be it could be the game changer play if you hit one of those. So we got to hit those coming up, and we just got to keep on practicing, which which we are. We're practicing hard, uh, it's being on the same page, and we got to go out there and we got to make them. All right, our last one's going to come from Eric Adelson. Hey, Rob, uh, what stands out the most about Bruce's coaching style? <clears throat> um, you know, just uh, offensive knowledge that he has. Um, 
on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, just a little details that, you know, he presents and, and brings to us and the knowledge of, you know, where everyone should be or the knowledge of that, of that route, um, of just that route of just the specifics and the details um, um, of everything. Just when you thought you, uh, you just knew what you, you know, just when you thought you ran a great route or you read the coverage right, he always has a little bit more knowledge. Just the knowledge of his offensive uh, side of, of the ball is just phenomenal. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks, Rob. All right, thank you, guys. Yeah.